What's up everybody, this is Noah and welcome back to Persona. In the last episode I was searching for a bug net and a fishing rod, but apparently for the fishing rod I need to find a hook first, and uh, for the bug net we have to do also a quest. So, without further ado, uh, for now since we can't do anything with that anymore, let's hang out with Chi. Nice, and you're gonna level up. Yeah. This is Daikugu. Why, uh, that... <clears throat> Why that person's poster still there? Forgot her name. Ugh, on the left. Have you had the steak skewers? The meat is tender and delicious, and they hardly cost anything. It might not even be a cow meat. Yeah, I've been here a couple times. With Marie and Yosuke. Just kidding. Whoa, thinking about it, that's kind of gross. <laughs> the police are here. Why are you freaking out like that? Th then, is this place really serving fake meat? Excuse me. Uh, yes? I haven't eaten any of the meat today, I swear. Gee, uh, calm down. You're gonna make it look weird and sus. Lately, there's been several incidents with a group of teenagers bullying people around here. Bullying? Extortion, if you will. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Uh, uh, no, no one in particular. Hmm, I see. Well, you two be careful then. Huh. Interesting. Mm. I'm glad it wasn't the meat. <laughs> you and your meat. But still, bullying? What cowards? Getting up on the weak like that. It's eat or be eat. <laughs> Uh, exactly. It's so cruel and stupid. Well, grab him and make them apologize, right, leader? Of course. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Hmm? Mowing down villains and saving the weak, a lone female fighter stands. <laughs> to protect the town's peace, she throws herself into the battlefield. Un... Unbe... What? Unbeknownst? What at all? Oh yeah, that sounds cool. You can leave it to me. Hmm? Hey, she has a bandage under her left leg, I just noticed. No, I feel better about it if you help. It'd <laughs> make me kinda happy. Hmm, that blush. Cute. Hey, you're actually getting closer. Four more. Revolution? Huh, what's that? Increase critical rate? all. Oh. What is it? Increase critical rate 1. Okay, Rebellion. Move. And get Revolution. There we go. Alright, first let's eat. She is Don't really think. good when it comes feel. to doing critical stuff. I love the, uh, the line that she says, Don't think, feel. Right? Actually, in this case, it would be don't eat, they eat. <laughs> they eat. See you um, later. Hmm. Welcome home. Thank you, Nanako. Okay, so, <clears throat> what should we do? Nanako is available. Hmm. I mean, I could. Yeah, let's hang out with Nanako. Um. Oh, not gonna happen yet. Ah, it's fine. Yeah. Let's hang out anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kanji's back! Yay! Uh, hi there. Hi. <laughs> Where'd the manners come from? Well, oh, gee. Well, um. I didn't know you guys were my senpai. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, thanks a bunch. No problem. Though I don't really remember what happened. Um, a lot of stuff. <laughs> There's some things we'd like you to tell us about. First off, who was that boy you met with? <laughs> I really don't know much about him. I mean, I've only met him twice. Yeah, but you walked home from school with him. What did you guys talk about? 
Uh, well, he just asked stuff like uh, if anything different happened lately. But I don't know where my head was at. When I came to my senses, I blurted out that I wanted to see him again. The blush? To a guy. I, uh, I don't really get it myself. Girls are so loud and obnoxious, so, you know, I, I really don't like dealing with them. Guys are a lot more laid back. So, uh, I started thinking, what if I'm the type who never gets interested in girls? And I couldn't accept that, so I kept spinning around and around in my head. Well, I can understand the part about feeling more relaxed around dudes. How you feel? How you come down? Like How are you feeling? Uh, I'm fine now. I mean, it was all in my head when you get down to it. I was the one shutting out that stuff. So, uh, our family's run a textile shop for generations. Oh, yeah, you, you already knew that. My parents are kind of weird. They, they say stuff like, dyes are one with the universe, and cloth is alive. And that's the kind of house I grew up in. So I've been interested in sewing and stuff since I was a kid. The second I say stuff like that, people look at me funny. Girls make fun of me, the people in the neighborhood treat me like I'm some zoo animal. So I was sick of everything. And when I got to my senses, I was running wild. Shit, what is with me mm -hmm. today? I'm going on and on <laughs> about myself. Forget all that. Man, I must look really lame right now. Nah, so be fine. Don't act like a big shit. You're really pretty cool. <laughs> I doubt it. Mm, that is true, though. <laughs> I've never talked about any of this stuff before. Guess I never had anyone to tell it to. Well, now you have it. Four friends. Mm? Actually, I wasn't five. Really Teddy. afraid of girls. <laughs> I was just scared of people in general. But all that's behind me. Wow. I'm surprised. You're a good kid. <laughs> no, don't, don't call me a good kid. <laughs> no need to get embarrassed. You're a big guy. You can take it. <laughs> hey, is there anything you remember after you ran into us the second time? You know, after you chased us away and said you were going to take us down? Huh? Uh, I went home. I was going to sleep it off in my room. Wait, I, I think someone came... To your house? Who was it? Uh, well, it was just a feeling I had. I, mean, I don't know if anyone actually came. Probably yes, and he doesn't remember just like Yukiko. <clears throat> Other than that, I remember some weird, dark entrance thing. And when I woke up, I was laid out on the floor of that sauna place. Dark entrance. Could it have been a TV? Huh? Now that you mention it, maybe so. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, no reason. I was just wondering. Did the police ask you anything? Well, my mom had called the cops to look for me, so they questioned me for a while. And I told them exactly what I just told you. And they looked at me like I was crazy. Oh, of course. So, like, are you guys playing detective or something? Yeah, something like that, but we're more doing more progress than the real detectives. More efficient, I guess. Well, something like that. Anything I can do to help? Of course. There's some bastard out there who put me through this. I ain't gonna rest until I make him pay. Seriously? Awesome. You'd make a great addition to our team. Mm. What do you say, leader? Oh, I'm happy to have him. Of course he can. Thank you, sir. I'll put my life on the line for you guys. Aww. I'll do my best. I'll be counting on you then. Ooh, how'd you join our team? Well, if we're gonna welcome aboard a new member... Should we take him to our special headquarters? <laughs> Did you this? We're still calling it that? <laughs> what? What's that? Come on, let's go. Hmm? <laughs> Man, you eat a 
lot. Were you listening to what we were saying? Huh? Well, sure, I, I was listening. <laughs> Ugh, close your mouth. Mm. So, uh, wait, so someone's killing people with the TV? With <laughs> the TV. What, what, what is he, beating them to death? <laughs> no, they weren't being beaten with a TV. Were you listening at all? <laughs> Don't worry. He'll understand once he sees the place with his own eyes. Oh, my God. <laughs> the way it happened was just the same as with Yukiko. <laughs> the killer kidnapped him first, then threw him into the TV. <laughs> just yeah. sorry, this is so funny that we could just. Oh God. That show's been pretty crazy lately, huh? Yeah, I keep wondering who'll show up next. I knew before I came on that he'd be the next one to appear. What's that dude's name? That first year who used to be in a biker gang. Oh no, Kaji. <laughs> Who the hell do you think was next? You're done for it. His name mm -hmm. is Kanji Tatsumi. And he wasn't in a biker gang. He's the one who beat the shit out of those leathered up pansies. So who are you, dipshits? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Boring. It's like having your own bodyguard. I can't stand it. Sure, they have no idea it's related to the murders, but still, how can they talk about their schoolmate like that? They're like onlookers at a car crash. As long as it's not happening to them, they're dying to see. Damn, this sucks. We don't even know who's going to be targeted anymore. This case disproved our assumption that all the victims are female. What was the other thing we thought they had in common? People involved in the initial case about Miss Yamano are the targets. How about that? Hmm. <coughs> Ash, I'm not sure. We still don't know, though. Hmm. 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 Think we're wrong about this one, too? I don't know. That announcer was involved with their mothers, not them. And we haven't come up with a reason yet why the killer would target their children. <clears throat> you guys saying you don't have any clues? Yep. Well, listen up, because I got something big. What's that? What's that? Okay, when I made my comeback at school today, there was an annoying brat hanging around. Turns out, he was snooping around about senpais and my disappearance. So I took this from him. I don't know what the hell this all is, though. Uh, and you <laughs> took it anyway? I took the paper from Kanji. There are several lists. Which one will you read out loud? <clears throat> uh, list of TV programs? Mayumi Yamano, Saki Konishi. What are these dates? April 11th? Oh, they found the first body on the day school started, so that would have been the 12th. The 11th is the day before that. I know I can't forget the day Saki Senpai's body was found. That was the 15th. So then what are these dates? And what does list of TV programs mean? Hmm. What's Saki Konishi Isn't April 13th? Isn't the days 13th? when they got interviewed on the TV? They met her the day she was on TV. I see. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Oh, yeah. I saw that too. They were interviewing her because she found the first body. Then this part. Mayumi Yamano, April 11th. Is that the day she appeared on TV too? So uh, every time we see someone appearing on TV being interviewed, that means that's our next target. Oh, she was on. I remember now. That was when the affair hit the news. Hey, wait a sec. Yukiko, didn't you get interviewed too? She did. When did that interview air? I think it was when I was absent from school. Um, it was the day after I met you at the embankment. I had my kimono on. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. I remember. I went shopping that day, so... April 15th. And right after that, I was kidnapped. Kanji, what about the television special you were on? Oh, yeah, that thing. Damn show made my mom go ape shit on me and the date just tell us the date uh i don't remember the exact date but it wasn't too long before i met you guys hmm. it's true then. <coughs> i 
Everyone was on TV before they disappeared. So you think the killer's targeting people he sees on TV? I was so caught up with the news reports about the incidents that I didn't notice at all. It can't be coincidence. There's no It can't be a coincidence here. Now that I think about it, when the killer failed with Yukiko, they moved to Kanji instead of trying again. Maybe this being on TV thing is some stupid rule that the killer's following. That's right. The killer could have targeted the same victim again. I think there's a definite connection here between the kidnappings and the TV broadcasts. The victims weren't just involved with the first case. They were also shown on the mass media. That must be it. But if so, what's the motive? Why kill someone just because they were on TV? Maybe they're just enjoying it. I mean, it can be anything. Damn it. Now that I think about it, we haven't gotten anywhere. Why can't I be smarter? I mean, we did get somewhere. Now we know that when someone appears on TV, that person will be targeted. Dude, why beat yourself up? I think you guys are awesome. I agree with Kanji. I mean, you guys noticed what was happening to me and even risked your lives to stop it. That's more than enough. You rescued me, too. We may not have solved the mystery, but we've saved two people already. That's true, but... What's more, everyone's deduction that Kanji-kun might be next was right on the nose. I know! We were so close! Huh? You knew before it happened? Damn. I wish you guys come a little earlier then. I mean, we tried, but you tried to kill us. <laughs> it wasn't that easy. <laughs> well, if we know this much, I think we can outsmart the killer next time. Then it's a countdown to their arrest. Don't forget, it's always possible that Kanji-kun was the last target. Nah, no, no, I doubt it. Or so we hope. We've thwarted them twice already. Here's hoping the killers learn their lesson by now. Anyways, let's keep checking the Midnight Channel like usual when it rains. Mm-hmm. That reminds me. The school campout's next week. I hope it doesn't rain. Hmm. It's for both the first year and second year students, so we'll see you there, Kanji-kun. Seriously? <laughs> School, huh? What a drag. <laughs> you have to keep up if you want to graduate. Yo, mind if I order another grilled steak? Go ahead, it's on me. I'm finish this one up while the next one's on the grill. We're, uh, we're going Dutch on the meal, right? Well, let's get going. I think our new teammate needs to meet Mr. Bear. Huh? What's up? Huh? Fine, whatever. I'll go for something cheap like ramen. Wait, or should I get a takoyaki set? Man, I can't decide. None of it. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can eat later. Time for you to get introduced to one of our other teammates. <laughs> oh yeah. Now that you mention it, I kind of remember this thing. Didn't think it was a bear though. Hey. Why is it a bear? I have no idea. I don't know. Me neither. I've been wondering too. It, it's kind of cute. Hmm? Mind if I pet you? No touching allowed, mister! <laughs> hey, don't give me any lip, bear! <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, I've, I've been wondering. You were kidnapped too, right, Yukiko-senpai? Huh? Yeah, it wasn't long before you. So, like, that means you came out to everyone, too? Th that's uh... What was it like for Senpai... <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hit you so hard. My jaw! I'll be more gentle next time. More gentle next time! Oh, God, that sounds more so weird. gentle? <laughs> what a pair of dimwits. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah! Here's a present from me, Kanji. It's to celebrate you joining the team. <clears throat> oh, so these are the glasses you guys told me about. Hurry and put them on. Oh, no. Huh? Sure, but hang on. Aren't these different from everyone else's? Oh, no. Oh, no, they made a prank on him. <laughs> it looks perfect on you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Damn, dude. It looks great <laughs> on you. I had a normal pair ready for you, but Yuki-chan insisted on this one. She mm. wouldn't budge. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, real funny, you smartass. Mm. Why are you taking it out on me? <laughs> Give me that. Oh, no. Again. He was holding I mean, I have to say, they suit him. You took my spare pair. Kanji, you must really like those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my sides. <laughs> yeah, get rid of them. We don't need them. One. It wasn't easy getting it to you. Why the hell did you bother making a spare if it's more useless crap? Mm. Damn it. I'll get you guys for this someday. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that was awesome. And we're home. Welcome back. Hi. So it's safe. Hey, the Jima. Um, hey. do you want to hang out? Ooh, nice Renko. Ah. Hey. I was just thinking of making some coffee. All, I'm, all we've got is instant though. How do you take it? Uh, I think I would like to go with. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. The cream, maybe? Cream sugar or cream? Hmm. Let's go with cream. Huh? Oh, well, it's just I had heard you ask for that in a while. Dad. Yeah, the news is starting. Oh, coffee, can I have some? Sure thing, plenty of sugar and cream, right? Oh, he said cream sugar is like Nanako. <laughs> yeah. Go watch TV with Nanako. I'll bring it to you when it's ready. Huh. You don't have to do that, though. Oh no, it's okay. Making the coffee is my only job around here. <laughs> Damn. Mm. When I got married, her mother made me pr promise one thing. She said this is all I have to do around the house, but nobody else can do it. So, well, you know, it's a habit now. Mm? promise I can really keep these days. Well, anyway, sit over there. And now our next story. On the outskirts of Akina today, a woman bicy bicycle was hit by a car and died on the scene. Damn. Now I could turn the TV off. Uh, okay. was because they showed a story about a traffic accident. Mom died in an accident. I don't remember it, and Dad won't talk about it. Aww. Poor Nanako. Watch some more TV with Nanako before going to your room. Ooh. Oh, the instant noodles really hit the spot. You know, the rainy season's just about here. <laughs> I just love how all of us have the, our own color. They match with characters. <laughs> Isn't it a little early? Once it starts, it'll be raining every night. We'll have to keep a constant eye on the midnight channel. Ugh, annoying. Crap, I didn't even think of that. Well, so it goes. <laughs> I thought you were worried about the rain because of the school camp out. <laughs> Why are you so excited about that? That's right, it's the first time for you two. You realize the only purpose of the school campout is to develop a love for one's hometown and young people, right? And what does that exactly mean? Yeah, they tell us that up front, so? Well, you see, the way we supposedly develop that love is by picking up trash off the mountain. Well, that's bullshit. I mean, 
yeah, it's okay to help environment and clean it, but at the same time, they're using kids to do work for them. For free. Picking up trash? Mm. Develop a love my ass. That's slave labor. <laughs> yeah. Well, the night's kind of fun. <clears throat> we cook our own meals with mess kits and sleep in tents. The four of us are in the same group. Oh, that's nice. The same group, huh? Does that mean we sleep together at night, too? Uh, no, Yosuke. Don't put your hopes up. Girls will be separately. You wish! Guys and girls sleep in different tents! Exactly. I'm warning you. If you leave your tent at night, you'll be expelled on the spot. Mm. And this gets worse and worse. I thought it was gonna be fun. <laughs> I mean, we can make it it's fun. for one night, and we disband before noon the next day. It doesn't last very long. Oh, we did have some fun at the river before going home last year. Do they let you go swimming? I think so. There's always someone who takes a dip, although we didn't. I see. So you can swim in the river. <laughs> Yosuke, what do you think about? Hmm? I'm already planning something. Oh no. What do you want from me? Oh no. Why me? No, stay away. Why me? <laughs> hey, Norikami, did you know this week is health week? And you're not part of the Student Health Association. In other words, you're a lazy bum. I hate lazy good-for-nothing kids like you, so I'm signing you up to take the place of a sick member. Uh, wait! Th that's not fair. Quiet, you. I don't know what school's like for you big city kids, but here it's very... Ev every student's duty to pitch in. Don't tell me you're not enough of a man to do something this easy. I don't want to do it. Uh, 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 I don't know which option is... What should I say? Technically, I don't want to do it. Fine, I'll do it. I see, I see. Then go straight to the infirmary right now. They should be expelling you since I already told them you do it. Thank me. Um, good luck. Damn, thanks, Chia. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh, Yukon, was it? The trash was too, right? Did you get hurt or something? No, I just got dragged in here. I told them that you've been sent here to replace a sick member. Thank goodness, we were running low on people. We need to check around the school to see if anyone needs help, but someone has to stay and watch this room. You could, would you mind staying here and dealing with anyone that stops by? Oh no. No touching the medicine, of course. If someone who's hurt shows up, use the first aid kit. The only other things you'd have to worry about are salesmen and phone calls. They're pretty uncommon, though. <clears throat> so help us should split up to that school. Someone's here. Oh no, why me? Hello, I'm Kitao from Santo Pharmacy Physicals. Oh no. Hmm, aren't there any adults here? Could you deliver a message for me then? Your school placed an order for Gauza, but I need to know if the order can wait until the month after next. Give me regards to your teacher. The month after next. Thanks for your help. Anything happened? I told her I was there from the paramedic company. Come on, came, came by. Yeah. Oh, we should have Sensei call him back. Do you remember his name? Oh shit. I didn't pay attention to his name. Oh, <laughs> was it Kitao from Santo Inc? Hmm, about the gods, huh? What did he say? Uh, can it come in two months? Hmm, got it. I'll call Sensei. Please tell me, Yuka. You had her mention. Yuka, thank you. Correct. Oh, thank heavens. Oh, knowledge and expression. Let's go. Okay, let's discuss what we found while you we went around the school. Okay, group one. Oh, that's right, you went alone. Yes, this Kanishi is in here. <clears throat> oh yeah, Kanishi-kun. He can't help it after what happened. Yeah, poor thing. So you just have to do his part too. Hey, guys. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, Naoki, the brother of... um Saki? Yeah, Saki. No, it's okay. You don't have to come, really. Helping out at your parents' store is hard work, right? We have a replacement, so don't worry. I don't want to be the only one. Well, you can help you, Kun. Clean up this room, then. 
Well, go report to the teacher, so why don't you clean a little and go home, okay? Well, goodbye. I'm Kanishi, a first year. You knew Saki Kanishi? I'm her brother. You're friends with Hanamura, right? That's right. I hate him, and you too. What did I do? I didn't do anything. Can I go home now? Why are you asking me that? I'm not in church here, I'm just first day here, I got dragged in here. Oh my goodness. Uh. <sighs> sure. Goodbye. <clears throat> you did your part and helped us to help association as ordered. The other members didn't return so you decided to go home. <clears throat> Why is he being an ass towards me? I didn't do anything to him. Welcome home! Thanks, Nanako. Hey Nanako, our <coughs> veggies are here. And if I'm correct, I have to plant cabbage for one side quest. <clears throat> Let's skip this because it's the same thing. Uh, cabbage. Nice. Okay. Uh, so, I have to go outside now. <clears throat> we have some stuff to do. Ajima is not here. Shrine. Can I go to Shrine? Oh, I can. I have enough courage. Oh, do I have enough courage? No, I. Just in case, because I'm scared if I pray, I will skip the time. Hi. I came to offer my food to celebrate my child's seventh birthday. However, I'm so hungry I can't even walk. It is truly shameful. Do you have any red goldfish you could spare? Sadly, I don't at the moment. I'm still working on getting the fishing rod. Oh, by the way, there was a strange net on the rooftop. Ooh, is it a bug net? Do you know about it? Yes. I see. Well, please take this. <gasps> Butterfly net. Yes. Thank you so much, Otatsumi Shrine Maiden or Ghost, uh, whatever. Lady in white. I can't talk about that. Yeah. I will get you that goldfish, I promised. As a um, thank you. <clears throat> Wait, Yosuke? Oh, standing next to Saki store. Well, sorry, Yosuke. I'm not gonna hang out with you right now. But yeah, people are out in the evening. You can hang out with them sometimes. Let's go. Okay, we have a bug net. Um, we still need to get a fishing rod. <sighs> Shiroko. We're gonna go to the Shiroko. Look how cool it looks at night. Oh, welcome. I turned my story into a nightclub once normal business hours are over. Have I met you before? During the day? Yeah, you did actually. Well, that doesn't matter. This is a nocturnal oasis where adults can escape their daily lives and gather in search of a moment of peace. And I'm a butterfly of the night, adorned with gems, who flutters down to bask in this oasis glow. I love the necklace. Everything you see and hear here is only a dream. It's a no no to drag what happens in here into the light of day. Remember that. Now, I'm sure you understand that this is no place for a child like you. It's time for you to go home. Hmm? Wait a second. What's that? You seem to have something quite impressive with you. Those beautiful shining stones, of course. Won't you trade them with me? Okay. Uh, by the way. Talk. <sighs> hey, won't you listen to my troubles? I have a little one named Akihiko, but lately it seems that no matter what food I offer him, he refuses to eat. Is it because I have a night job, or could it be that he realized that I'm not his real mother? <sighs> I'm so worried lately that I can't even sleep at night. The Akihiko is a fish. Look how he swims so fast. The fish in the text how they begins to swim about in a lively manner. Ah, Akihiko, what's wrong? It seems he wants to eat that, that swimming ladybug you have. That's why it's why it's good to buy it from uh, what was his name from the commercial store thing early. Please, won't you let my little one eat that bug? He won't eat the breadcrumbs I give him at this rate. He'll. Please, my little one, he's the only emotional support I have. I'm begging you. Well, I will trade you this bug for breadcrumbs for my fishing. Yes, here you go. Thank you. You're so kind. I wouldn't mind if you attempted to flirt with me right now. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> That's only a little joke. 
Don't take everything so seriously. Now, here's your dinner, Akihiko. The host of puts on the touch of the into a fish tank. Something came out of the fish's mouth. My god, there's a fish hook! Akihiko, why did you eat something like this? So my boy had a fish hook stuck in his throat. That's why he seemed so down. Thank goodness, I'm sure he'll get better now. Thank you so much. Yay, we have a fish hook and a bug net. I'm glad you're all better now, Akihiko. Here, have some breadcrumbs. Make sure to chew 20 times before swallowing. Oh my god. <laughs> fish <laughs> that completely ignores the breadcrumbs. Sheesh. Now that he is all better, he's getting carried away and making extravagant demands. Haha, <coughs> 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 I knew a man like that too. Do you want some breadcrumbs? I'll give them to you if you want. Nice, thank you. I'll give you some more breadcrumbs if you bring some Tatsuhim ladybug for my little one. No problem. I can exchange. Ooh. So she has these kind of things at night. To be honest, I don't remember ever using that service. Um, but yeah, we're not gonna work here. Now we're going back home. We did a lot of progress and we're ready to head home. We're gonna read a book! Oh? Uh, hello? Oh, hi, it's Kanji. Hi, Kanji. Are you doing anything tomorrow? I wanna go inside the TV. I wanna test my skills. Kanji, hang up. That was fast. I wasn't even able to reply. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know about that yet, Kanji. Ugh. We're gonna read... Easy Origami. Already, yeah. Well, good news. That semi kun from the first year is back with us, so try to get, uh, try to set a good example. I know it's the rainy season, and you may not be very motivated, but let's keep our spirits up together, okay? Anyway, I really hate this winter since I can't go out and exercise. But watching sports on TV isn't bad either. I saw the Haken Dai competition the other day. They do beautiful moves with a delicate sense of balance. Though I can't see why men would be afraid to try it. <laughs> Uh, hey, Yukun. Yeah, Yukiko. What sport is Heikin Dai? Um. Uh, what, is it Balance Beam? Wow, I'm amazed that you knew that, you. But you should ask if you have questions, Yukiko chan. Not him. Balance Beam is Heikin Dai in Japanese. I bet when you kids hear the word beam, you think about lasers or something, but it refers to the timber or beam. And balancing on a wooden beam is mighty tricky. Boom, the sport of the balance beam is born. Oh, I never really thought of it that way. Interesting. You're a smart guy, Yuko. Thank you. Aww. Points to Yuko. Good expression. What are you having there? Hey, guess what I just heard? What did you hear? When they're sitting in back of you, it's like a squeeze play! What are you talking about? <laughs> exactly, the first question. Putting a baseball team together! <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? Come on, you know what I mean? No, I don't! Sorry, I got it ahead of myself. What I mean is... Uh-huh. Talking about how when there's a girl sitting behind you on a motorcycle, they press right up against your back. Oh, motorcycle stuff. What this? I love how this is so stupid. <laughs> a motorcycle? Man, you're a lot thicker than I thought. <laughs> anyway, that's not my fault. The game made me say those things. I think motorcycles <laughs> are the hot new thing for guys now. Girls like guys who spend time outdoors, right? Uh... The tents, I guess? So I got you this. Wanna get your license with me, partner? Oh, that would be awesome. It's a man for getting motorcycle license. Can I catch travel other well, places? I can't afford anything bigger than a scooter on my budget. <clears throat> but at least that'll let us get to new places. 
Don't you think we deserve that much, seeing as how we're investigating the case? I mean, you have a point. You're serious about this. Kaji! What's up, senpai? Hey, about the camping trip. You guys busy right now? No, not really. Kinda. We're talking about motorcycles. Motorcycles? You gonna go <laughs> stomp a gang? <laughs> if you're bringing a war, I'll help. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not bringing a war. It's not mean anyway. We're just talking about getting motorcycle licenses. <laughs> I love Kaiju. <laughs> licenses? You guys don't have yours? <laughs> no way. Don't tell me you already... No, he's younger than us, though. <laughs> ah, I'm still 15 and all. <laughs> then why'd you say it like that? <laughs> Man, that reminds me. I'm surprised you picked a fight with that biker gang. How'd you chase after them? Eh, a bike's all I need for that. <laughs> in any case, we can't let you in on our up close and personal plan. Why not? Up close and personal? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Keep it down. Like I was telling this guy, what a guy needs nowadays to be a big man is first a motorcycle, and then, and then, a girlfriend. <laughs> Tell me, boy. In the garden. So you're over. Her. Oh, that's a bad question. Never mind. Okay, tell me more. Now that's my partner. <laughs> All right then. You guys gonna get licensed for the big stuff? I mean, I know I came in late here, but if you're talking about taking a girl on a bike, you gotta be seating too, man. That ain't allowed on a scooter. Here goes your AZ, Yosuke. <laughs> Shut up, this will work out. As long as we have a motorcycle, the girls will come running. That's all the advantage we'll need. Sure. Now listen carefully. The reason we don't have girlfriends is because we're stuck here in this town waiting to meet someone. <laughs> this place is so tiny, it's no wonder we can't find one. It doesn't matter if it's only a scooter. Some kind of motorcycle is just the ticket for us to get some chicks. Then, later on, we can get a bigger motorcycle. And that's when the up close and personal plan really starts. Oh boy. Up close and personal. Plus, you know, you and me have more of a city boy thing going on. If we're serious about this, we've got to expand our horizons to a bigger town. We got to take the initiative. There's no time to wait for a train that only leaves every so often each day. We'll roar up on our motorcycles like the badasses we are. And when the chicks come up, we'll play it cool. <laughs> Pheromones dripping off of us will bring them around in no time. <laughs> you first you need a motorcycle, Yosuke. What, fe feral <laughs> zone? No, we're not going to a cat house, you idiot. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about pheromones. My research shows that a motorcycle is the number one surefire way to increase a man's pheromones. Pheromones? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Dude. That's how a perv would react. <laughs> what did you say? Fine, then I'm in too. Get ready for Kanji Tatsumi to show his manhood to these chicks. <laughs> I already told you, you can't. Anyway, don't tell anyone about this, got it? Why he can't? That's not fair. <laughs> if other guys try to copy us, it'll end up diluting our pheromones. Other guys, Bryoske. So partner, make sure you talk to your uncle about getting a license, okay? Got it. <laughs> Not you. I don't even know your uncle. <laughs> I'm serious about this. If we have motorcycles, we can go all over. It'll be fun. It's true that with the motorcycle, your range of activities will increase somewhat. Hmm? Man. Somewhere out there, the best days of our youth are ahead of us. <laughs> I'm not having problems with the girls like you do. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. This is gonna backfire so much. <laughs> Should you try consulting the gym about the motorcycle tonight? <laughs> yeah, probably. Ooh, another quest. Uh, okay. Let's <coughs> uh, just save. Oh god, that's funny. Let's look around the school, but maybe more people have quests. Did you hear? It seems there's a ghost at that Sumi shrine. Oh, you mean the white lady? I saw her yesterday. If you go there at night, a woman's ghost will approach. And she threatens you unless you give her fish. 
Well, she did ask for a fish, but she did not threaten me. So her, your stuff a little bit wrong. Why fish, though? That's not something people carry around with them, you know? Mm, I don't think I can go near the shrine for a while. Excuse me, I have another request. Will you hear me out? Listen. I have another request after you brought me that angel before. This time, can you bring me a crucifix? I'd like to keep it next to the angel. What is wrong with this school? Some people collecting demons, some collecting angels. I uh, heard some scary news again. I'm scared just to be in my room by myself. You got it. Wow, thank you very much. Silver ones are pretty common, so something like a crooked cross would be nice. I think that would work so. I'll be waiting for you. Huh. Okay then. <clears throat> Is there anything else? No, you don't have a quest. <coughs> We're gonna have a lot of stuff to collect when we next time go to the TV. You don't have anything. And there's nothing there either. Okay, let's check downstairs. I is there again. But I don't think I'm ready to talk with her yet. Hmm. The time will come. But not right now. I'm scared that if I talk to her, she will trigger like an event. Oh, Kanji is there. Hi. Senpai! Uh, not today. Later, sir. So this is where Kaji is gonna be when we have a wanna hang out with you. <coughs> okay. There's gonna nothing on tea <laughs> tea, but I meant roof probably. I still have a quest. <coughs> I'm still working on your cabbage, okay? Thank you. So it's raining, so probably the fisherman and the boy is not gonna be out with the net and stuff. Okay, I should probably also feed the cat. Did I get the fish as my package? I don't remember. I don't remember if it arrived or not, but I guess next time when it's not raining, we can check and try to feed the cat. Um, central shopping. You're there. <coughs> the husband of the dead wife. More kids spraying, but I'm helping with time. This is now the life here is nice too. The boy is not going to be here, probably. Yeah, he's not here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna save, and then we're gonna go to Aya. To get those points. Well, let's see if I get that for the first try. Probably not. <clears throat> what I'm after is... Uh, understanding. Uh, courage and diligence this time. Understanding courage, diligence. Understanding. Courage. Ooh. Diligence. <gasps> Perfect! And both leveled up. Let's fucking go. Woo! <laughs> nice. First try, baby. Ah, oh, yeah, too bad, mister. Yeah, okay. Adachi. You're sitting on Nanako's spot. How dare you? Ah, you're back. Yeah, I'm back. Hi there. Hi. You want some meal too? Fair warning, it's from the supermarket. And so? Well, excuse me. Oh. It's delicious though. I can't believe it was on sale. Sorry, but this guy eats instant noodles every day. That constant slurping got on my nerves, so I called him here. You don't have to bluff like that. You just wanted to eat dinner with a co-worker, right? No, he didn't. Don't be stupid. But eel was a great choice. Nanako-chan loved it, at least. I'd say she's eely proud of her daddy. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was a really bad pun. Did my joke slip away? It is an eel, after all. Okay, enough with the eel. Just eat your dinner. E yes, sir. Nanako-chan's such a good girl, though. She went straight to do her homework once her plate was clean. It's not every day you get to eat eel. You'd think she would have spent some more time savoring it. So what's with you and your eel? You think that because you slack off too much. You should follow her example. 
Exactly. A way to hit where it hurts. You need to consult the gym about getting a motorcycle license. <coughs> oh yeah, matter? I already forgot about that. Can I have a license a for motorcycle? that? A motorcycle? Yeah. You mean a scooter? Oh, that's right. Kids your age can ride those. Uh, I don't know, though. Why not? Come on, don't be a spoiled sport. It's no surprise he once went out here. I understand how you feel since I'm from the city myself. The trains don't run that often, and walking around everywhere is pretty inconvenient, isn't it? I guess, yeah, kinda. Well, it's not that bad, though. I'm gonna be nice about it. There's no need to deny it. It's normal to feel that way. You say that, but... That reminds me. I remember you telling me something once, Dojima-san. About some of the reckless things you did on your motorcycle when you were young. <laughs> Thanks, Adachi. You moron. Mm -hmm. Think before you talk. And once you're done eating, hurry and... Ugh. <sighs> Me. Hmm. All right. We'll be there soon. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Adachi, you were the one in charge of that file, right? File? Oh, did that suspicious guy show up again? Would you keep your mouth shut? We're going back. Get in the car. Back? You mean to the station? But I haven't had my eel liver soup yet. That's why you sh why you should eat instead of blabbering your mouth. Hmm? So, but that's cool, I think. About this license, did you decide on this yourself? N no one talked you into it? Um... Well, um, I did look at the scooter outside of the house for quite a while now, but then Yosuke brought it up, and but I did think about it also myself, so it's not only his thing, but yes, me. I know it's hard without a way to get around, but two-wheeled vehicles can be dangerous. Do you understand? Yeah, I know that. I want you to trust me. It's not that I doubt you, but allowing you to get one is something else. Don't give me that face. I know you're serious about this. First, you need a license. We can talk about this again when you have one. Well, nice. then, sorry to dump this on you, but I need you to look after the house. That's not a problem. <coughs> hey, do I have to clean the table? <laughs> it's from Yosuke. Yo, it's me. Why do you always call in the right perfect timing? <laughs> How did it go with your uncle? I've been on the edge of my seat thinking about it. Hey, it would, it would well. <coughs> Got Seriously? Cough. Then let's go get ours as soon as we can. Mm-hmm. I gotta hit the books. Let's make sure we both pass together. Nice. Woohoo, Yosuke must really want a motorcycle license. You promised to go to the exam site with him tomorrow. You wonder about the suspicious guy Adachi mentioned, but there's no way you'll find out more about it for now. You should review the manual Yosuke gave you and study for the license exam. He just does it automatically. Mm hmm? So, how did the studying go? Yeah, morning. Yusuke seems sleepy. I went to bed, but a little details kept bugging me, so I get up again to check the manual. It's, it never ended. <laughs> I end up getting almost no sleep at all. Uh, well, if we're gonna do this, let's pass on the first try. How are you feeling? It'll be a breeze. Yeah, now that's my partner. I see you haven't forgotten about our up close personal plan. Well, let's make sure we're not late to the exam. We'll leave as soon as school's out. That's how it ended. Yosuke will drag me out. There we go. You take the license exam with Yosuke. The answer seems to be flowing from your hand. Success. You succeeded in passing the exam. School and license! <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> we passed on the first try, just like we planned. Hmm. Actually, it was pretty easy. I might have studied a little too hard. <laughs> well, it's never bad to just study more. 
Hey, Dajima. So, what about the scooter Hi. thing? Are you on duty? We just stopped by to get gas and, well, to take care of some minor business. Where did you guys go? Yes. You're starting to sound like Nanako. <laughs> if you're trying to test my detective skills, then... Let's see. Given that triumphant look on your face... Huh. <laughs> I give up. Where? Mm -hmm. I can tell what a suspect's <laughs> thinking when he's lying. But when it comes to where you two might go... Our motorcycle licenses! We went together and got them in one try! Already? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I know it's just a written test to get a scooter license, but still, I wasn't expecting you to pass so soon. <laughs> oh well. Looks like I better think of a way to convince my sister. Thank you. I can't say no now that you've gotten your license. Your enthusiasm is catching. Yes! You got the okay! I need to head home and read through the catalog. <laughs> well, see you tomorrow. See ya. Mind if I borrow you a sec before you head back home? Uh, sure. I wasn't planning to go home, hey, though. Hey, Adachi. I just finished filling it up. Ooh. Sorry for dragging you into this. This is my scooter. I had it fixed at the shop. It may be old, but it runs pretty well. I came to put gas in it, but I wasn't expecting to hand it over today, too. Damn. I'm letting you have it. Yeah, this is a nice one. This is a nice bike. You can tell? The local <laughs> shops don't carry twist grips, so I had one of the repair guys at work help me out with it in secret. Uh, don't tell anyone that, okay? <laughs> I won't, don't worry. You're always so strict at the station, but you're a cool dad inside, huh? <laughs> Shut up, Adachi. You always yell at me. <laughs> Still, I wish we had a sleek means of transportation like that. Who knows when that suspicious guy will show up again? I thought you would. Hasn't the... he been using professional quality cameras to take pictures of people's <laughs> houses from the Amagi Inn to around here? Looks like he knows the back streets, too. So a car won't be. So the person was taking pictures, huh? Would you stop blabbering like that? Go back to the car. Mm hmm. Thank you, Adachi. It's like he's on purpose trying to give away all the clues. Well, anyway. <laughs> I was around your age when I got my license, too. I took the test behind my parents' back. When my dad caught me riding a scooter later on, he gave me a good thrashing. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell Nanako about that, okay? <laughs> I won't, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Since I've already given the okay, I won't bug you about traffic laws. Just... Be safe when you're riding it. I promise. You do that, and I'll look the other way if you decide to ride it out of town. Can you promise me? I can, I promise. Good. I'll hold you to that. Nice. I have a scooter now. <coughs> and we can ride it now, everyone. Hmm. And we still have time. It's after school. Um... Wait. Whew. I just got a jump scare. I thought I went accidentally home. Oh my god. Okay. Whew, that would be scary. Kitty. Oh, I don't have the fish yet. I'm so sorry. So yeah, I didn't get it yet. I do have a fishing hook. A fishing hook? Oh, you do? You have to oblige me. You know? Hmm, you willing to give that to a total stranger like me? I'm much obliged. I need to thank you somehow. I know. Do you fish? Just let me get this hook you found on the oh, no, no. Here. River rod. Nah, there's no need to be shy. It's so that this was a good opportunity, so I gave up. I was planning on buying a new rod anyway. Just to sh show my gratitude. Use it however you want. Thank you, sir. Okay, he's gonna talk about where to fish. Let's just go to this. He's gonna go through this just in case. Catch fish. 
Okay. Now. Uh, anything ingenious? Nope. Okay. Ooh, hello, a new quest. <clears throat> Someone got me and my sister mixed up again. Oh, we're just so alike that people can't tell who is who. Everyone says that they're jealous. Amazing, isn't it? Um, I have something to ask you. Okay. Um, I want to walk home with my sister, but I don't know where she went off to. If I wait, she doesn't come at all. Have you seen my sister anywhere? I'll look for her. Really? You'll find her strike? Okay, uh, I think... Another quest. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> hey, you there. Wait, can I talk to you? Are you free? Okay. I'm being popular. Uh, it's nice of a young man like you to spend time with an old lady like me. Listen to what I have to say. Do you know what a winning whale is? Yeah, of course I do. Oh wow, that's very admirable in someone as young as you. When a woman gets married, she wears a whale. A veil, or whatever. I was told it prevents demons from making her grow horns after the wedding. My mother in law insisted that I wear one. It's outrageous that you even consider not wearing one, she said. She always did what she wanted in life. I'm not joking, she really didn't like me and not at all. Anyway, I refused to wear a veil, and we ended up getting into a shouting match during the wedding ceremony. And before I knew it, here I am, just as old as she was, shouting and getting angry at everybody. But I'm starting to regret it. I'd say my horns finally fell out or something, would you? Anyway, I thought I should hang some horns above my bed as a symbol of how I, m I'm turning my outlook on life now. I'll t tell visitors. Oh yeah, those were my horns I grew after I got married. <laughs> but nobody sells them. I might be able to look. Really? Oh, that's so nice of you. I'm carrying on you to find some me some good ones now. This, this is so weird. Uh, <clears throat> sister. Not you. Hey, I found a net. Hey, that net you have is the one I lost. Wow, you found it for me? Thanks. But you can keep it. My grandpa got me a new one. Now we're bug catching buddies. <laughs> I know everything about bugs. Okay, let's ask for you to capture. Let's go to catch bugs. Mm -hmm. tree, I hear you can catch one night, but this place is kind of scary. Wait, if you capture a bug, does it skip time? I don't remember. I will test it out um, later. Did I do everything? Did I also? Oh yeah, I wanted to try to find the sister of that girl. Maybe she's in some Egawa food play, food play. I think I've seen some girl down here sometimes. She's not here right now. She's not gonna be in school. That's a lot of people. Like really a lot of people. <coughs> Everyone is active also. Huh. No quest from you. Nothing in here. Okay, I should be good then with the quests. But I'm gonna leave the episode here. But first, actually. Where is Naoki? Naoki, Naoki. Can I find Naoki somewhere? Where does he usually hang out? Oh, there he is. Oh, oh hello. Hi. What do you want? I just want to talk. I don't want to talk to you. So it's a rush. Fortunately, your impression of Stanley allowed you to the his eyes to the man here a bit. You're an odd person, actually, when you talk to me. Oh, yeah, it appears that I'm chop liver to the health community. Do you know what chop liver is? It's something that no one cares about. Whether or not I'm there, the result is the same. I'm exempt from everything because of my family troubles. Why don't they just come out and say that I'm pitiable? pitiable. It's like a British brother swearing woman. Everyone circles around me, saying I'm so brave. It's kind of a nice feeling though. But they all have those obvious looks of curiosity written all over their faces. 
How was she killed? Why was she killed? Do you hate the killer? They don't have the courage to ask me, but they follow me with their eyes. Every move, every step, I'm sick of it. Is that what you want too? Did you come talk to me to ask about the murder? No. Everyone says that. Unfortunately, I have nothing to say. All I know is what they said on TV. But the answer to the do I hate the killer question is no. Goodbye. Okay, so we did talk to him. Oh, so that probably made a little progress. Um, so, I'm gonna get the kanji matching persona. Actually, I don't think I need it right now because I didn't start thing with him technically. I'll think about it. But yeah, next time we're gonna hang out with Kanji. And... Yeah, I think we're doing good so far. We're doing really, really good. We have so many quests. Like, a lot of quests. Please pick the cat. I don't, I'm waiting for fish to arrive. Acquiral key, which is Kanji. Kanji castle uh, area of Sauna Bathhouse. Um, growing right now at the moment. Uh, Kanji's bad house. Bad house. And we just have to wait for her to spawn somewhere in the town. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna see if I can capture a bug without skipping a day. Because I don't know actually if that was gonna day right. So. Oh, wait, I forgot to say. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!